Yo, what's good, what's good? This is the one and only GM. And today, I want to make a video about a topic that was kind of popular a few weeks ago. And I feel like I'm one of the people that should make a video about this and talk about this. Because I've been in the FTC for a long ass time. From like a pro player, all the way to a streamer content creator, right? So this is a part of the, you know, little podcast joints I'll be doing. So today, I want to talk about, is the FGC broke? Because some uh, MK girl, she posted that joint on Twitter. And that shit blew up. And that shit went viral. And everybody, a lot of people were mad about that. Because in the end of the day, people don't like to be called broke in a community. You know what I'm saying? Um, to be real with you, I agree with her to an extent. But I feel like she worded this shit wrong. You know what I'm saying? She should have she could have just said that the FGC don't support their players. That would have been better instead of just calling people broke. Cause that, you know, that's just gonna get people mad at the end of the day. Um from my experience, I'm gonna keep it 100, right? I've been playing in tournaments since like I was 14, right? Um, 2004 and shit like that, 2003, right? And my experience with the FGC, when I was small. Like, this, like, you know, winning like 700 at 18, you know what I'm saying? 16 around there. 17, winning like 700, 600, 500 dollars. That's a lot for a teenager back then. You know what I'm saying? So the pots didn't really seem small to me. Because I'm like, yo, I could win this shit in one day and win this much? Like, this is ham for like a teenager, for a young kid, right? So back then, when I was doing just doing and plus it was arcade tournament. You just go to arcade, win the tournament, get that much money. You're like, yo, that shit lit. Look how much money I'm winning off of... Um, arcade tournaments and all that shit right like you think this shit is lit but you have to remember too like i was a kid and shit so the pot seemed fine but when you get older and you got bills to pay and all types of shit and you wanted 400 500 dollars 300 dollars for a tournament that shit is a no-no you know what i'm saying the pots is too low they still too low Look at um the TWT regional finals. First place was 3K for a regional final. Second place was 1K. And then third was like $500 or $400. That's terrible, bro. That's really bad. Especially for some shit you got to play the whole year to qualify. That's actually terrible. But I just think the FGCs, they don't, you know, there's no value in it. Not really no value, but they ain't really putting money into this shit like that. At least the developers ain't. At least for the Namco side, right? When it comes to, like, the FGC being broke, though, I agree to an extent because I've been to streams, right, with guys with, like, 40K, 50K followers and shit, and their sub count is really low. 40, 40 subs, 30 subs, 50 subs, and they got, like, 60K followers, bro, and partner and everything. This shit don't match. So that's what she was talking about. She was talking about that she went to, like, popular dude streams or popular people streams, and they got, like, no subs, that's facts, though, because I, I go into people's streams that are, like, popular with, like, 80K, 70K subs, especially in the FGC, and they got, they getting, like, no support whatsoever. But I think that has to do more with the community they built more than the actual FGC itself. Because it could be one of these things, like, yeah, they got partner, and yeah, they got, like, 70K, 60K people, but they probably just slacked off and shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, they probably stopped streaming like that, or they probably just stopped giving people a reason to sub to them because at the end of the day somebody don't need to sub to you if they don't want to you know what i'm saying they gotta have a value you gotta be entertaining or something like that you know what i'm saying you gotta you gotta show some type of shit but i do agree like the FG, out of all the communities that i've seen from like first person shooters to to rpgs i think fgc is probably the lowest supporting community like when i look at other streams and stuff you know what I'm saying? I'm I'm lucky that my community is really good and they support the fuck out of me. I got like 300 plus subs now. You know what I'm saying? And it's been a healthy sub count for like the past year or so. So my community is good. I just feel bad for other people, you know what I'm saying, that, that built their own communities and they're not getting that type of support. But they probably just doing something wrong. So I don't really think it's that the FGC is broke. I just think they really pick and choose who they want to support at the end of the day. That's that's what it is because there's some people I seen got mass support. There's other people that barely get support, and and then there's people in the between, right? So 
I think the FGC could do better. I think I think at least for pro players, the pots could be a lot better for sure. Way better. Cause when I was a pro, bro, it was rough because it's like I was trying to do the full time pro shit, right? And what I would do is like all the money I used to win tournaments, I would just use it to go to the next one. Or if I get a sponsorship, I'll just take it and, you know, just go from there. The issue with that is that um the money wasn't big enough, right? You wasn't winning a lot. So you basically just spending, saving money from a tournament you won to use it to the next one. And then you spend all your money from the last tournament to go to the next one. And you win the next one. And then you got to risk and repeat. So you're never going to have money at the end of the day. Just keep doing that over and over. And then when you sponsor, I've been sponsored a lot. A lot of these sponsors, they take a big percentage of what you win. So at the end of the day, the pots are small. And they taking a percentage off that shit. So you end up you end up with nothing. All you end up was with a free trip. And that's about it. You don't get nothing. They don't even market you. They don't do interviews for you. They don't help you. They just send you the tournaments and be like, here, you know, get it in. And it's even worse when you don't got a salary. If they give you a salary, then that's fine. You don't need to worry about it. You know what I'm saying? If they take whatever, whatever, at least they're giving you a salary. But if they just sending you the tournaments and you're not getting nothing out of it, like you winning and you still not winning enough, that's rough. That's mad rough. So... I can see why people say the FGC is broke, but I think the broke is a is a bad term for it. I just think is, I just think there's not enough money in it, at least the competitive side. Because I was when I was just a full time competitor, I was always broke. To be real with you, I never had money. It was rough because at the end of the day, you know, I kind of I pretty much grew up in the arcades, right? And I grew up around people. You know what I'm saying? That told me, you know, oh, this guy's the best, this guy's the best. You know, I just want to be like them. I wanted to be the best, too. When you're around people like that in RK, that be telling you about Evos and all types of shit like that at tournaments, it's like some shit. I just wanted to be the best. I didn't even care about the money. But as you go older, you know what I'm saying? Money's important in life, man. You need money. So just being a competitor is rough. Unless, like I said, if you sponsor, you get a salary, that's good. But if you're not, then you should just do that shit as a hobby. Because I'm telling you, when I was pro... When I was just going to tournaments, I was always broke, bro. And I said, and then there was friends that I had that were like, yo, my man's like, why you do streaming, man? You funny. You know what I'm saying? You got a lot to talk about. You got a lot of experience. Yo, make some videos and stream. And I was always like, yo, like, I don't want to do that shit. I just want to be a competitor and show people I'm the best. I don't want to do that. But I see why they did that. They basically was trying to help me out. They were trying to tell me, like, yo, like, your time and effort is way worth way more than you just trying to be a champion. Because a champion, unless you win in the, the, the finals, like TWT or Capcom Cup all the time, like, or you have a big-ass sponsor, it's not really worth it at the end of the day. So, yeah, the FGC is rough, but if you in the FGC to make money... Like, if you knew and you try to make money, like, you in the wrong community. You got to go somewhere else if you want to make bread. You know what I'm saying? You got to definitely make something else if you want to make bread. If if you in the F, if you in the FGC to make bread. But if you've been in the FGC in a long time, like me or Majin or TMM or any of those guys, then you got to, you know, you got to do something with your passion, man. People don't do stuff for no, like, we don't grind and stuff for no reason. So we got to make the best of our situations, make the best, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah, man, just in general, man, I, I just wish more people supported the their content creators and the FGC because that's the issue, man. A lot of people, to be real with you, when I go on the streams, they, they complain about everything. They complain about clicking a match arena link. They complain about watching ads. They complain about anything, bro. Anything that's free. That, sh that shit could be free, bro. And they complain about everything, son, no matter what it is, bro. And I'm like, come on, man. Other communities don't do that, man. Why y'all complain about everything? Even if it's free, they they complain about it. So I just wish they supported their players more and, and FGC people just stop complaining about stuff. Because to be real with you, if a dude comes in my stream and he tells me, you know what I'm saying, like, yo, like he, let's say he on Wi-Fi or some shit, right? And I'll be like, yo, why you on Wi-Fi? And he's like, yo... I don't got no money to buy Ethernet cable. Ethernet cable is mad cheap, bro. Like four or five bucks or even three or some shit like that, right? I dead ass. I help my viewer. You know what I tell him? I tell him, yo, stop watching me and go out there and try to get money. Like go work or something like that. I feel like a lot of people don't do that. If if you have viewers that's struggling and they just addicted to watching you and all the cause I know people like that. They'll just watch Twitch all day and they don't do nothing in their real life. They don't get money. 
know what I'm saying? They don't got no social life. They're not out there grinding. I would dead ass tell my viewer, like, yo, you need to get a job or something. Find a way to get money or something like that, man. That's another thing, too. People are not are not straight up with people. If you're struggling, you know what I'm saying? You don't need to call them broke. You could just tell them, yo, like, you need to go out there and grind. You know what I'm saying? Because in this day and age, there's no reason to be broke. You can make money off of anything. Content creation, streaming, whatever you want. TikTok, I don't know. Whatever you want to do, you can make, definitely make bread out of it, for sure. For sure, for sure, man. But in general, FGC, you know, we got a lot of work to do. We definitely got a lot of work to do. Like, I wish players would get paid more. You know what I'm saying? I wish content creators for the FGC was making more. And the guys are all making a lot. They working their ass off because this shit is hard, man. Especially if you have, like, a community that don't really support you like that. It's going to be a rough road to you. Because FGC is still niche at the end of the day, man. It's still niche. A lot of people don't know about it. You know what I'm saying? Like, I've talked to people about Tekken. They don't know what that is. You know what I'm saying? I still, a lot of people don't know what FGC is. You know what I'm saying? So, it, we we have a lot of work to do, man. But I think calling people broke is this, the, you know, saying the whole community's broke. I think that's, like, the wrong thing to do. You know what I'm saying? But on that note, this is the end of the video. Um, I appreciate everybody for watching. I'm going to continuously uh, keep uploading podcast-type videos. Uh match analysis um tutorials match videos and uh my lee chalan tutorials coming out soon too so i have a lot of stuff planned out um i'm very serious about my youtube because i feel like as a content creator you have to uh have multiple stuff not just a twitch not just a youtube so i want to have multiple stuff you know what i'm saying like i'm really serious about this you know what i'm saying and that's how you get support you know what i'm saying you're going to get support if you're serious about it and people see that you're putting it in work and you're making content constantly for people. But if you just on some shit that you just doing nothing, like, you're not going to get the support. So it's like you can't call people broke because of that either. You know what I'm saying? But, yeah, but everybody, thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe. Be sure to like. You know what it is. The Twitch is FireGM underscore TK and all the other socials, TikTok, uh, Twitter, Instagram, all fire GM. And thanks for watching. And I'll see you guys on my next video. So everybody, peace out. And thanks for watching.